Happy Sunday, everybody. Happy Sunday. This is a Sunday before Thanksgiving 2020. This has been a year, I tell y'all, but we have so much to be thankful for. So what I'm doing, I'm making today, I am making some um, magic cookie bars. So this recipe, how I... Um, All right, so with this recipe, well, let's give a little history about it. So when I was a senior in high school, I worked for our local government. And what I did, I was a clerk typist. They called us clerk typists back then. And so the department I worked in was billing. But my job was to correct. At the time, we, didn't have, we had computers, but we would look up delinquent bills and stuff like that that had been sent to the credit bureau and all that. Yeah, I did that in high school. But what, we, what our job was, me and another one of my friends... Um, we typed corrected utility bills. So every bill that had to be corrected had to actually come through us. So we had to correct the, make the corrections, tabulate, make sure all that was accurate. So that helped me even today to be more efficient on the computer, ad machine, and all that. So that's how I discovered this recipe because we had a Christmas party. And so I remember at the Christmas party, man... That was back in the 80s. They were drinking alcohol and everything. Of course, we couldn't because we were minors. But um, I, I really enjoy that environment. I really, really did. So, um, but for this recipe, magic cookie bars. So what you need is you'll need two cups of Nestle's Cold House, Toll House, Cold House. You got, a, I got a cup and a half of graham cracker crust. Um, I got, here they are, I'm sorry, graham cracker crumbs. Cook a cup and a half. So, can y'all see? Okay, so what I'm going to do, the graham cracker crumbs, that's a cup and a half. To the graham cracker crumbs, I am going to add my one stick of butter. And I'm going to mix this up. This is going to be our bottom layer to the magic cookie bars. So you take a cup and a half of brown sugar and one stick of, I use Land O'Lake butter. Land O'Lake butter, you mix this thoroughly. And I'm probably mixing it with the wrong thing. This spatula is not doing what I needed to do. <laughs> Now listen, this is rich. This is a rich, I mean, it was so good when we had it. I, and I, I don't think I'm, I may have made this once, but it's rich and it's, and it's sweet, you know, because you, you're going to use this. You're going to pour this Eagle Brands, the whole can of Eagle Brands milk on it, the chocolate morsels, and you're going to put coconut. And I couldn't find the other coconut, so great value is going to have to suffice today. And like I said, here's the Eagle Brand milk. Okay, so I'm just going to mix this until the butter has saturated all of the graham cracker. And I'll be back. I'm not going to hold y'all for that. Okay, so we're ready. So what you're going to do, you're going to take your one and a half cups a graham cracker crust, your one stick of butter, you're going to put it in the bottom of your dish. You're going to spray this with um, cooking spray. I didn't have cooking spray, so I used uh, canola oil and, um, you know what, hold on y'all. I hope this pan, I think my pan needs to be. Okay, so I'm going to use my Oh yeah, I say 13 by 9. So you're going to take and you're going to lay this out. And you and I got parchment paper on the bottom also, y'all. You're going to lay this out. You're going to flatten it. This is your graham cracker crumbs. A little piece here. Your graham cracker crumbs. Can y'all see? 
and your butter. And I've been searching. I couldn't find the, van the van vanilla wafer cookie crust in uh, pie, pie shells anywhere. So I am going to actually have to make my pie shells this year from scratch. I have done it before, but I had to go get me some pans from Walmart. So I did the pickup. Okay. So we're going to flatten this. That's your first layer. Yeah, I see it. Okay, that's your first layer. And then you're going to take your Eagle brand condensed milk and you're going to evenly pour this over your um, graham cracker crust. I try to start down the middle. And I'm, I'm honest, I haven't made this. I don't think I've, I've ever made. I don't know. This is a, this is very rich. Very rich. But you want to spread it evenly. It's what the recipe says. You're going to use one whole can. Do y'all use Eagle Brain condensed milk for your uh, sweet potato pies? When I learned to make it, I didn't. But I have several recipes up where I do use condensed milk. You don't even have to use flour. The condensed milk really is a binder. Um, so that's what I use and that's what I've been using for a while now. I have a, I have um, maybe two videos up. And y'all y'all know it's a lot in here. So I'm going to try and get it all. <laughs> But I don't want the graham crackers, so let me just rinse this off. I don't see my other spatula. And honestly, I don't want to have to be washing a lot of dishes, so I can just go ahead and use this. Get all that out. Look at that. Again, this is not a diabetic-friendly dish. Eat your small piece. Okay, now we're going to add our two cups of chocolate chips. And I'm going to have to. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm kind of discombobulated here today. And you're putting them in layers. Now, I've seen variations where people use peanut butter chips and all kind of stuff. So you want to layer it out. That's one cup. This is two cups. Okay, and I got this big thing of uh cookies from Sam's for $7. $7.98 or something like that. Then you're going to put your layer of coconut. And these are the sweetened coconut. And try to spread it as evenly as you can. That's kind of a good bit there. Because even your coconut is sweet. It's sweetened coconuts. What what if I should use unsweet coconut? Okay. Kind of looks like I need to. Okay, and then it says use uh, a cup of nuts. I use a little bit more than a cup. And the nuts I use, I find sometimes when you get them out of the bags, they're not as fresh. So I got these from Albertsons for $4.99 each. They had them on sale last week. So I've used some for a banana cake I made last weekend. And then this is uh, one I hadn't used yet, but they were $4.99. This week, I think they're $8.99 maybe. But of course, you know me, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a sale shopper. 
And so, um, but what I'm going to try to do, because I spend a lot of money on grocery, I do. What I'm going to do, I'm going to try not to do any more grocery shopping unless it's produce or vegetables until Christmas time. Because my freezer and pantry is full. Okay, so now we're going to add the pecans. I got the whole pecans and I cut them up myself. I just think that the, they're fresher when you buy them like that. Now the ones I got, I did buy some of the other kind for um, my pecan pies because I like small pecans for my pecan pies. And you want to try to spread it out as evenly as you can. I have my oven already preheated to 350. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's okay. Everybody is uh, preparing for the holiday. My grandson is four, and this is going to be his first Thanksgiving at home with his with his nana. But better safe than sorry. They had uh, been exposed to uh, the virus, so they had the uh, my daughter teaches, but she didn't work this past week because, they, like I said, they had a. Uh, um, been exposed okay so let's take and now they say you take it and press it down with a fork now usually when I fix dishes I like my pecans to be toasted but because these pecans are gonna be in this dish and it's gonna bake for 25 minutes I know that they're gonna be toasted I'm telling y'all this was a dish I really enjoyed I was like oh my goodness where's the recipe and they told me it's magic cookie bars that's the name of it So, uh, what I'm doing here, it says to mash it firmly down with a fork. And I guess that's to, um, you know, get everything talking and communicating. <laughs> All righty now. So, when I feel like it's flat and it's not a lot of movement or whatever, then I'm going to go ahead and place it in. The, I see what's happening, though, by doing it that way. Some of that uh, condensed milk is actually moving around. Okay, so... Let's kind of um, wipe around it a little bit. Okay, so we're going to place this in the oven. It says 25 minutes. And that's how long it's going to stay. And hopefully, because I don't really care for coconut too much, especially if it takes... I'm funny about things. Like, I don't like raw pecans. I don't like raw coconut. If it's going to be baked or it's going to be in a dish, I think it needs to be cooked. <laughs> Does that make sense? Anyway, so I'm going to put this in the oven. 350 for 25 minutes. I'm going to bring you back. And I realized, and I'm sorry, because some people ask, where's the final product? One time it happened with me. My camera had died. Sometime I'd be on my way to work and forget to recall when I come back. Just different type of things. But I promise you, I'm going to try to do better. Because I've been doing this for a minute now. It, it's more a hobby than a job. I don't depend on this for anything other than just, you know, I like sharing. So, uh, last week or early, well, yeah, last week is this Sunday, they were talking about, um, YouTube and the changes that they were making and they were going to put ads on videos and people may not make any revenue. You know what? I have a career. Thank God. I'm doing this because I can help somebody. My children and my grandchildren can go back and look at my recipes. I met some fantastic people, uh, and I just enjoy doing it. So, you know what? Everything, don't make everything about money. Because what profits a man to gain the world lose his soul? Make sure your heart is right, y'all. Okay, I'll be back. All right, y'all. Here's what it looked like. Let me see if I can zoom in so you can actually see. And remember what I told you? Your pecan's going to be um, roasted and also your coconut because you don't want it to taste raw. So, y'all, remember I told y'all 25 minutes on 350? This is probably done about 40 minutes. I don't know if I didn't have the oven right or I didn't smooth out the... And you can still see like right here in that middle section, the coconut don't even like it's roasted. But I didn't want to cook it any longer because I didn't want my edges to get uh, too dark. So make sure you spread your uh, condensed milk out better than I did, okay? Uh, I'll be back when I cut it. Because I got to let it cool completely. So it's going to probably take about an hour, if not more than that. And when it's cool completely, I'll actually come back and show you what it looks like. It smells amazing in here because you got the pecans roasted. You got the, um, you got the graham cracker and the butter. And you got that going on. Then 
So y'all, as promised, I'm back with my magic cookie bars. I have my platter here. We're gonna cut them up first. And then we're gonna transfer them to the platter. Hold on, let me see if I can back it up so y'all can see me cut them. Okay. All right. So, let's cut them. And the middle part, that's why I cooked it long to me, it was a set. So now I'm going to cut them this way. Seems like I'm gonna get 12. Let me get a spatula now. Tastes like lemon joy. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, I remember I had the parchment paper under the bottom. But it's not up the size though. Let's see. If I can catch that. Let me just get this one. Let me show y'all what it looks like. And that's what it looks like inside. It's pretty thick. Alright y'all, I'll be back when I cut them, okay? All right, y'all, I had to get my son's iPhone because my camera started acting crazy. But this is what they look like cut up. I wanted to get one again so you can see what it looks like. You got the graham cracker and you have the, excuse me, condensed milk, the roasted pecans, toasted coconut, and those chocolate chips have melted. Now, this is so good. Like I said, it's rich, so it's not something that you should indulge in all the time, but it's good. All right, y'all. Have a blessed day. Much love. Bye.